Greetings and salutations. My name is Rick Koppel and I've had a blog that I've been putting blog posts on for some time now dealing with my Parkinson's journey uh, and I thought why not since especially since my left hand is having trouble being flexible enough to type quickly and why not do a video blog where I don't have to worry about typing makes sense plus people get to see me and I can show things that maybe I can not show by you talking about them on my blog and I can do a lot of other things that throw some other interesting tidbits in here and there we'll see what happens but this is kinda like the first video blog for my Parkinson's blog and I wanted to give an introduction and actually today I went to the doctor for the several for a few minutes and he prescribed me some medication that was, should help my symptoms smooth them out and help with my dyskinesia what's dyskinesia you ask well I'm glad you asked dyskinesia is actually involuntary movements created by the side as a side effect from taking the medication levodopa that uh, is the, like the primary medication for treating Parkinson's symptoms Parkinson's is a disease that where the brain cells die that produce dopamine and the dopamine is needed to coordinate movement and so what happens is with not enough dopamine neurotransmitting among the synapses the uh, muscles get mixed signals from the brain about what to move and what to do and the more less dopamine you, ha you have in, in your brain, the more problems that creates. And so most everybody loses some dopamine as they age naturally. That's why generally you don't see Parkinson's until people get in their 60s, 70s, or 80s if they get it. But that's not so common anymore as it used to be. There's a lot more people who get it even in their... 30s and 40s and 50s like I did I got mine when I was 52 or almost 52 51 years old and which is considered fairly early for Parkinson's but there's a lot of people that have what's called young onset Parkinson's Michael J Fox is one of them got it in his late 20s or early 30s I can't remember now and have to deal with it most of their lives because the process of losing brain cells that create dopamine is sped up due to who knows why there's lots of theories as to why people get Parkinson's uh, but nobody knows for sure what the real cause is or what problem is anything from various certain things they know do bring it about like certain pesticide chemicals things of that nature but uh, environmental factors and there's some potential genetics that can create Parkinson's and people too but that's a very small percentage uh, so for the vast majority of people they have no clue why they get Parkinson's it could be an environmental factor of some kind it could be something they ate who knows it's just uh, the way it works but anyway dyskinesia is the med is a side effect from the medication that's the involuntary movements you've probably seen Michael J Fox have that problem when he's been interviewed he usually has some dyskinesia because he's been on the levodopa for so long and most people don't get it until around six years of having been on the medication but that's an average unfortunately I beat the average I was I got on had some dyskinesia the first within the first year when they doubled my cinnamon dose and uh, and then since I've been on Azelect it's come back so but the good news is the doctors prescribed some medication that probably will help or we hope will help smooth that out and, and eradicate the dyskinesia so right now you can see my head is still or relatively speaking I mean I'm nodding and stuff but I'm not going cuckoo which is predominantly when I get dyskinesia it's a head bob in my left leg what does that look like well I did happen to record it earlier today and uh, so you get a taste of what I've gone through usually about two to three times a day 
sometimes it's more minor sometimes more more like what you see on this video and uh, I do have to warn you that I, there's a little bit of background noise because I didn't realize I was recording with the wrong microphone at the time it wasn't using this mic it was using the computer's mic which of course made it pick up a lot of background noise so if you can ignore the background noise you'll be fine uh, here you go this is an example of what dyskinesia looks like at least on me which predominantly involves my head bobbing my left toes curling and my left leg making it hard to stain because it wants to pop out at the knee and not hold me up as effectively and I've had to deal with this usually after I take my medication which is three times a day usually about two hours or so after I take my medication I'll get a little bit of involuntary head movement like this sometimes it's a lot more minor this is pretty uh, up there as far as what it usually gets to and sometimes it's better but the doctor did went to the doctor today and he did prescribe me something that's supposed to help with this so we'll see if this works better and improves the situation on the dyskinesia it's also supposed to help smooth out the some other symptoms then. Uh, so keep your fingers crossed we'll see what we can do but anyway i wanted to get this recorded because if it does help then probably shouldn't be seen this head movement which gets a little stressful in the neck sometimes and I have to take a rest and it makes the movement difficult when I'm helping my wife clean houses and such but there you go that's life but we'll see what happens anyway you got this recorded so you kind of know a little bit what the dyskinesia effect on me is at times and that's what I look like when I've got dyskinesia. Some people at church have seen me like that on occasion. Uh, and occasionally I'm in the grocery store or other places when that kicks in. Sometimes it's difficult walking when that kicks in or moving around helping my wife clean houses, doing the vacuuming and mopping and stuff. It makes life a little more difficult. But that's part of the Parkinson's experience I just got it earlier than most people tend to get get it but this medication and I'm not going to pronounce this correctly that's one of the disadvantages to doing a video blog is now I got to actually pronounce all this stuff I can just type out and write before aminidin which is a actually it was a viral medication that's been around for about 50 years that they used to help treat flu symptoms and things of that nature so it's, it's antiviral really uh, but they've discovered in giving it to patients in nursing homes and stuff that people that had Parkinson's that took that also improved their symptoms and they discovered that it actually had actually did some studies on it and it actually had some ability to help Parkinson's symptoms so that's what uh, that's what we deal with at this point and hopefully this will help smooth out some of those dyskinesias and uh, I'm going to probably be putting more video blogs on just because it'll help and you get to see some things aside from me shaking around which uh, happens my right hand is actually pretty steady right now it's not too shaky it was shaky earlier today when I recorded the first time but if I hold it there for very long, it'll start getting things. It's usually when I hold it in position or uh, or just let it rest sometimes, it gets a little shaky. But my right hand was one that got it last. I mean, it's what's called stage 2 Parkinson's, where the symptoms shift over to the other side. It started with my left hand, and my whole arm is stiff has a stiffness to it. Matter of fact when I'm doing my exercises and I go the arm out like this and then this arm out like that all of this arm just kind of goes up and down while this one does the flowing motion thing when I'm doing my dancing. So but it's exercise. <laughs> so anyway maybe next time I'll get you 
get a, some video of me exercising. You can see what kind of dancing I'm doing. But that's be a start, and we'll have more future blogs about more stuff and uh, video things. Hopefully, this will be somewhat interesting to anybody that pounces upon this on YouTube or comes across my blog post about it. Thank you for listening in, and we'll check in with you next time. Over and out.